Thank you, Fungurumu, in the Katanga Copper Crescent Conga. In this case, uh, pretty, pretty solid. Usually we have as a matrix a very compacted clay, and here the clay is turning most likely into a dolomite. Sitting on top of this, we have uh, a thin layer of Krasikola, in this case, uh, a bluer Krasikola. Um, well, uh, uh, the, the blue is quite intense on this. Now, you'll see the stalagmitic stalactitic uh, 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 formation over there, which is most likely, well, Krasikola often forms stalagmite stalactites too, and these would have been coated by druzy quartz. Sitting in the, let's say, in the armpit over there, in that little edge, we, we may have some Vizigiera crystals, which is quite a rare mineral from the Katanga per se, but from this deposit I find it to be quite abundant. Please note that my IDs are merely a pointer, a guideline in the direction. It would be a lot easier to say that everything green from the Congo is malachite, but it's definitely not. And even when I ID malachite, I, I most likely talk under correction, but it, in my humble opinion, uh, this is the Zignerite. The crystal form is right for it. So we have uh, the dolomite underlying matrix sitting on top of that is a thin layer of Krasikola, uh, tiny druzy quartz is sitting on there, a little bit of Vizigia right on the top, and the whole lot is blessed by a, a fantastic aesthetics. Just turn it over this way, the matrix isn't all that much to look at. Um, but this, okay, and there's a projection of the main ore there on that section. All from Tenke Fungurumu in the Katanga.